I'm sure I'm not the only one that feels this way, but don't you feel like this anime is just going at light speed pace? I feel like there's 10 arcs being fucking rushed in one episode, but I'm trying really best, okay? So what is the most important thing that happened last episode? The Dark God's sister is a freak. And she wants to do something at the event re end, right? We got the key. I think we're about to unseal her. But then, like, the femboy is kind of, like, sacrificed, right? I think got the hand cut off. The android, the dragon claw. She's going on a fucking rampage. She said that she'd only kill student every one night. But she already killed, like, fucking 10 people. There were some funny-ass classes last episode. Like, the chef. Dude, the chef was pretty funny. Like, reader. It's a counter. It's like, what the fuck are these jobs? At least there's a lot of comedy and humor in that. Now, Shion, Shion basically said that like, there's, like, a time frame right the time frame has been limited it's getting too boring i want you guys to fucking you know uh go faster so i'm sure today's anime episode will go just as fast let's begin today's reaction what where are we right now isn't this where like the sword master stuff was happening yeah euphemia and euphemia she met with the uh, the lolly vampire right What? Those are energy? The barrels are energy? <laughs> he was so confident. <gasps> oh. I thought it was just like mana liquids or something, but they just use, like, it, it looks like it's our race, right? Like Euphemia's race? Oh, this is fucking dark. Oh, Lolly? Vampire? This is Euphemia. Wait, but who. Who was, who, Theodi, Theodicia is another one that looks very similar. That was, oh fuck, there's too many fucking characters. I'm sorry, I'm trying, I'm trying, okay, Jesus Christ, okay. Euphemia, Theodicia, Euphemia, Theodicia, Theodicia, Euphemia, okay, okay. That's right, they're, they're the sisters, they were trying to meet each other, and, and, and there's the vampire lolly. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, okay, that was the sister reunition arc. Second door open, remember. It's like all battle royale. Free for all? No, oh, I like this guy. He's from the cult. No, you can't just approach Sion like that. Her power level is like 530,000 or some shit. Oh, wait. She can nerf your gifts, right? She can like, control it. Yogiri just kills Sion and saves everybody? It didn't work. It does? This is some Anos Voldy goat shit. Where it's like, oh, did you think I died just because you killed me? I died just a moment ago, but all I have to do is just come back to life, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. Why didn't I think of that? Oh, you're so smart. So, oh, she keeps leveling up one second intervals. She keeps leveling up in one second intervals, so like complete recovery. Each. So you know how like in so I'm a spider, so what? You know, it's like threshold reach and she levels up and all the HP is resolved. Like, so she keeps leveling up every one second. That's what she's saying. Like straight up every one second, she's leveling up. <laughs> Dude, his head's gone. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, you know, Yogiri. Yo yo rest in peace, discount Yogiri. Cost no, that Costco's great. Counter? Oh, it's the fucking counter and archive is right there. <laughs> These are the fine skills. Right, and, and they fell. They fell too. Right, right. That's another plot that was happening. Who were they fighting before um, they fell? Who were, they who were we approached by? Was it the android? The android showed up and um, did like Dragon Claw or some shit, right? Or nobody? Were, they, were we not fighting? We just fell? Didn't the ground like break because of some shit happened? Did we just fall for no fucking reason? Who cracked the ground, though? Ethos. Oh, backstory. We need characters, not ethics and morals? Okay. It's impossible to apply ethics and morals to beings that surpass humans. Just like Yogiri, huh? Should you be teaching a kid stuff like this? No, you should. The rules are important, but it's just like, you're a god and you can just determine every rule you want. But no, she taught him correctly. He has a good character. How is he gonna survive? 
Ah, he can just, you know, bend the fucking laws of physics. Let's just break, let's just kill the momentum, right? Let, let's just cancel out the concept of gravity. Fuck it. Fuck it. Here we go. Ah, easy. Ah, oh, that wasn't so hard. We're in Mushroom Land. Oh, this is the Dark Cloud Sisters Land. This is Mushroom Land, right? It's the cartoon Freaky Land. So what's going on? The, the femboy got their uh, hand cut off, right? She took the hand. She took the fucking hand. She's holding it. It's proof that my brother has given me his approval to leave. No, you're just fucking delusional. Yo, that hand placement is actually pretty lucky, huh? I bet most of you guys would be down for let Mana fucking cut off your hand so that your hands could be fucking placed on there. <laughs> Mana or Miyuki? You know, Miyuki from Mahoka. <laughs> <laughs> Leave, you ugly motherfucker, before I change my mind. Wait, Femboy survives? Wait, wait, what the fuck? It's all squishy. Quicksand? Right, because we're about to give a baby. We're, we're, we're about to birth a baby. That's going to be our big brother. We're inside of Mana right now? Are we in her womb? Are we in her womb right now? I can't believe this fucking idiot's gonna survive again. Yes, he deserved this shit to get kicked in the face, but like, fuck, he just keeps getting away with it, dude. Oh my, oh. Oh, now we're inside of her. Now we're really inside of her. We're, we're in the tunnel right now. We're in the cave. Rest in peace, loot. Can't believe this motherfucker lives. Episode 11, phase two. Rizzly, that's right. That's her new name. Sure. She's got like, little fangs. What does she know? Why, why does Rizzly already know Yogiri? Is it memories from Lane? Because she just kind of just like manifested, right? She just woke up from the slumber. The memory. Lane's memory, right? It's Lane's memory that's kind of like, you know, going into her, right? Okay. Yeah, she has. Last arc. Swordmaster arc. That's actually fucking amazing. How is this phone working? How, 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 how is this phone working, dude? Do we have signal in the seventh layer of hell? It's got crazy fucking signals. Oh my god, there he is. This fucking idiot. Don't save him. Don't save him. He's gonna save him. He's gonna fucking save him. He's getting way too much screen time, man. I'm actually getting annoyed that, like, please kill him right now. We fell down, though. Pretty much. You better fucking be a bag boy. You want me to kill you? No, no, don't you dare speak back. Whoa, 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 whoa. That, that's the idle stuff, right? That's the idle stuff, right? Wait, 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 wait. Sora, Akino skill, the vow has been disabled. So without the vow, you can get your gifts back, right? Or some shit? I forget. Don't you make a vow with the idol, then you get some kind of like contract, but it's like you get you get nerfed or some shit? I forget. Say selection battle participant list. Why am I even reading it? It's not English. Moon runes. Oh, Danura. Danura's new fit, dude. Who's narrating this? Oh, yeah, she's the gunslinger. She's just gunslings. Don't tell me there's a fucking class called narrator. And is a guy named narrator fucking narrating this right now? No, it's him, it's him, it's him, it's him, it's him. No, 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 it's not him. It is him? Was that his inside voice? Is that his inside voice? Oh, shit. The android's here. Really, Mokomoko? Wow, thanks. Uh, system, but the gift, right? Okay, gunslinger. Thoughts are being guided by the system makes it belligerent. Huh. 
So we're all, so could you argue that all the classmates are inherently just like being douchebags and dicks from the beginning to everybody because of the system? I don't know. The fuck? This is an elevator? Okay, so the voice is the narrator's... Sorry. Because he's the reader, but the book's voice, you know. Yo, you know what be the crazy shit? Well, you know, something that's terrifying about this power, because like right now it looks like he's pretty much has like clairvoyance, right? The book will pretty much narrate like the future. Imagine the book says like, and I'm about to die now, you know? The book literally says like, it just predicts your death and you're reading it and you're like, what? How are you going to kill them, bro? With what? Oh, he can like, um, he can basically create a scenario with the book. I died. I was, you're done. Just run. Just run. How many different ways can the book say that you died? I mean, Yogi doesn't really care, though. Bro, just run. You can't do this. Uh, <laughs> did he sense murderous intent there? Yogi didn't hesitate at all. He just straight up just like instantly saw Shine. It's, it's gotta be like he has some murderous intent, right? Like, right? He could be, sense the fucking hostility, right? <laughs> yes, intent to kill. Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh? Uh, Hanakawa's participation in the Sage Cannon Destruction Battle has been approved. Hanakawa, Daimon Hanakawa. Shit, who was that again? Was that the android? I never bothered under memorizing. This, this is Daimon Hanakawa, huh? Because like he's part of the game. Okay, good, good. You're involved in the fucking battle royale now. Fuck you. You deserve this and more. Oh? No! Fanboy doesn't have hands anymore. Why would she do this? Yo, the next scene should be the fanboy without the hands. How funny would it be if the next scene is just like the, the armless fanboy? Uh, classmate. Classmate. I think. Mei Hanamiya. What is she? What, what the fuck is her class? Fucking cat enjoyer? Crazy cat lady? Domain. Saint? Arima. Oh, oh fuck your bed too? <laughs> class carpenter can make him that in structures so he can just drop this fucking <laughs> <laughs> like this pretty much is like this is spatial magic carpenter my ass now i understand the show is making fun of itself right there's a lot of funny classes but you basically just disappear the fucking bed and drop the fucking cube on her that that pretty much is a fucking spatial magic but carpenter carpenter okay the chef last episode was fucking insane man the chef was actually goaded oh no. yeah you can you, you, she got teleport powers. He's a transporter, can teleport things between doors at will. A saint's power can do more than just eradicate demonic creatures. Apparently, she can fucking teleport. But he's a tele teleporter. Sorry, I was fibbing? As in, she was lying? Uh, just dropping lava on us? She's cracked! What the fuck? What? What? She's insane! Oh, she enjoyed- she, she was smurfing! She just wanted to see people's face distort. Oh, this girl is a fucking demon. Wait, go back, go back. Show me that face again. It twisted once more. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, it fucking obliterates- Oh god, here it comes. It's a bullseye! Okay, oh! And he did. What are you? You know this is gonna be the most ridiculous bullshit, bullshit explanation. Okay, what the fuck are you? Okay, what uh, what power is this? So you saw a cat one day, two cats. Okay, and you were talking to those cats before. But 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 but, but this is regular Earth. So so just a cat just started flamethrower. She was killed by the beam of light from the cats. 
So like these cats are like godlike beings and they felt bad because she got caught up in their fight and they granted her powers? That that that's what's going on here? <laughs> she got powers of the cat god? <laughs> that's not a gift then. Is that a gift? It may, may, maybe the saint is the gift, huh? Right? So she, she already had powers back on Earth. This is not a gift from Sion. But then she entered here and then became like a like a saint or some shit? Is that what's going on? I don't think she gives a fuck. She enjoys watching you. She's insane. Oh god! Saint B! Every time she uses that attack, she has a cute little, you know, face. You know, her eyes are like, yeah! Just... Punch. Yes, please kill him! No, but like you know that she's gonna fucking approach Hanako, that fucking idiot, and then Yogi's gonna say Shine and she's gonna die, dude. And like maybe she's gonna have seven lives, or maybe she has 14 lives. Wait, cats have nine lives, right? So it's either gonna be nine or 18 lives, right? Because she has two cats, and Yogi's gonna say Shine 18 times or some shit. <laughs> Please don't. Just kill Hanako. <laughs> she's still role playing the saints? He deserves to die in more, dude. Like, come on. What the fuck are you saying, right? You've got underneath that rope. Oh my god, dude. Please kill him. Uh, the main character. Oh! <laughs> Yo! That's the first time I've seen Yogi actually do martial arts! Because usually he just goes, Shine! Just eat the bump! <laughs> fuck your Saint Punch. I'm not here for your cute little shit. <laughs> Instant elbow, apparently. The Dan no the elbow. Run away, girl. Don't do it. She should have died there. What if the cat gods died? What if, but the cat gods, don't you have nine lives? She's got one, one, one life left. No! Rest in peace. Rest in peace, cat gods. I just want this guy to die, you know? Like, fuck, he sucks. I don't think Yogi would kill right now, right? No, he wouldn't. What the fuck was that sound at the end? Was that a tiger at the end? Yes, we're blaming you. Was that a tiger at the end? An android time? Danara still at the spying. Someone's blocking Mokumoku's signal? Ooh, muscular ghosts. Cute girl. Uh, that's the. Mikuchi was the one from the intermission, right? Wasn't there a different necromancer for? She's a counter, but she's actually a necromancer. Wasn't wasn't there a necromancer in like episode one? There was, right? I guess there's multiple necromancers. Okay. The counting skill is not even a real skill. She, cause like think about it, it might be the easy skill to just like bullshit. Cause all she was doing is giving random ballpark figures, right? She looked like a she looked at like a group of people. It's like, oh, there's like seven thousand people there, but no one's gonna fucking proof check her. No, no, no one's gonna fucking proof check her. Who's gonna do that? So she's been just lying the entire time. She's just been catfishing as a counter. I'm just a counter, but she's a necromancer the entire time. That's so fucking trolled him. You do? Why couldn't we have had that, man? We have Mokomoko instead. <laughs> Me too! Why do we have Mokomoko? <laughs> Look, Mokomoko is actually kind of goaded, right? She's pretty useful. Her voice acting is amazing too. It's just, you know. <laughs> what did Mokomoko look like in her prime? You know, may may maybe Mokomoko actually was super hot back in her prime, you know? She is now a ghost, you know, you know, who knows what kind of form this is, but maybe Prime Mokomoko got it going on, man. <laughs> she already gave up. <laughs> Mokomoko's ready to fucking fight, dude. <laughs> Tiana was 
the one that was counting. Okay, so that counting skill wasn't complete bullshit. She was the one that was just counting and letting her know what it was. Oh. What? How did she just do that? Can a necromancer do this? Maybe necromancer really means like controlling spirits, right? And like, I don't know, Moku Moku kind of just like uh, uh, got influenced by whatever her quote-unquote necromancer power, right? I don't think it's really nec- When I think about necromancer, I think about Diablo. I think about summoning zombies, huh? I, I, feel, I feel like, okay, the physical strength is from Moku Moku, okay? But like, I think the necromancer term is more like spirit control, right? Instead of like controlling zombies, it's more like spirit controlling, right? So she should be able to do the Danora arts too? Mokumoku's kind of happy about this, right? Battle service incoming. Three, two, one. He deserved that. He deserved that. Oh, Yogi did that because he's a gentleman because Danura just got stripped. Oh, okay, wow. What a gentleman, man. You should kill his eyes, though. Oof. Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. We don't have to go to kick for this, right? We're not getting banned on Twitch for this. Nope. Moko Moko chan. Good job. Good job, Moko Moko. Sorry, uh, Danura. You can still hear him fucking yelling. Can you hear this? Listen, listen carefully in the background. My eyes! My eyes! You can hear him. Okay. Oh, we're on a different battle now. Um, The idol versus... What the fuck is this class right here? Why do you, why, why, what's that called again? It's not a protractor. What the fuck is a protractor again? I forget all these different fucking things I used in elementary school. But she got the fucking triangle ruler out. <laughs> she got the fucking, she's doing arts and crap. There's no fucking explanation of what the classes are. But like, what does a class fucking kindergarten teacher do? <laughs> what's her, what, 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 okay, what is this girl? What, on the left, this is fucking, we got fucking elementary kindergarten teacher. And then the one over here, what is she, a fucking flight attendant? Is she, is she supposed to be a flight attendant? She got the fucking class, okay? <laughs> this is the contractor, right? And then we have the uh, the cheerleader. Yes, that's a cheerleader. Counselor? Not contractor? Okay, counselor. The idol's pretty confident. Oh my god. They just spawned out of fucking Oshinoko, dude. They just spawned all the fucking... The, the idol. You know, the, the sweaty idol. That could just fucking... Dude, they're all the same character. It's every, it's copy, it's poppy paste. Wait, 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 what the fuck just happened? Kill them once and all. She was gonna use some power and then. <laughs> the super fans are just suicide powers. Allies, they're my fans. Literally die hard fans, dude. Oh my God. What should we do? What's the answer to get out of this, bro? Oh, it's the slime from the seventh. What's the slime from the seventh layer doing? The sixth or seventh layer doing here? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Is she gonna get stripped too? What the fuck? He had wings? My secret weapon? Everybody is hiding something. Everybody is just faking everything. When did you get these powers? <laughs> I mean, listen, exactly. Hiding powers is very smart, but like if you're just gonna reveal like four or fucking five students, maybe there was like three so far, just like everybody was like hiding their powers until this episode. I get it, it's free for all. It's it's it's, it's life or death, but like damn, everybody just coming out with like, mm, my actual power is. Wait, is that the Dark God sister's thing? Is that her? Is, is, is that, cause like we were inside her before, right? Is, is it the sister surrounding our fucking kingdom right now? This, this okay. What the fuck is this? 
Apparently, she had the fucking Kyuubi hidden within her, dude. It's like a necromancer equivalent of a fucking inner demon. All right. Accept the power. Awakening. Is that the sage? Awakening that the sage was talking about. Awakening? Which sage? Could everybody awaken? Can everybody? It, this isn't awakening into the sage. It's just the sage told them that these gifts can be awakened. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Bye, Moko Moko. All right. So getting phase two. <laughs> Ew. The that wasn't too cool. The voice sounds really weird. <laughs> it's like the deep voice and like the light voice. It's weird. She's a stand user now, man. And you're done. You did all that awakening. Look at this animation. What the fuck was this fall? Was this CGI? What was this? Well, look at how she fell. Look at how she fell. What, what, what was something about that was so uncanny? What the fuck was that? Moko Moko, you betrayed us. Because <laughs> she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. Giga Chat Danora? Please shut the fuck up. Take his eyes out. Ugh. Ugh. I just can't believe how much screen time that guy's having, bro. <laughs> Moko Moko, you're grounded. You betrayed us. We're actually still looking out for this fucker, huh? Well, it works as good Sion bait. And if Sion shows up, maybe we can kill her and end all this? Good, you should die. <laughs> Why is he actually showing emotion at that line? He actually was, I'll avenge you, brother. Oh, the android again. Gunslinger. Dragon Claw. A nuke. Nuke. The ending was playing. And the credits was rolling. And it just stopped. Wait. Oh, hello. My Gaijin Ninja. What has you want? Gaijin this. Okay. Dark God sister, Dark God sister? Are we all in her womb now? Tactical nuke! The, the gunslinger! I'm atomic! No, it doesn't matter. You know why? Because we can simply kill the nuke, right? So this explosion is the result of the gunslinger saying what kind of weapon can defeat the android. I don't know if the android themselves can survive this, but... But Yogiri should be able to say Shine and just like kill the nuke, right? I'm not sure if the people there are gonna survive, but like we should be good. Like I think that we should be good. And another thing with the nuke is that nuke usually associates itself with a a EMP, meaning like all electronic devices and shit, you know, kind of just goes bzzz. Not that it really matters because we don't really have much. In fact, this might just like, def like kill our fucking Nintendo DS. You know the thing that the little game console that he always plays with? So that's the only thing that Yogi is probably gonna have to be worried about. But that's another episode where we're just going fucking balls to the wall. So what's the most important thing to happen? Sion is basically doing free for all. But like if you kill her, we can be freed from this, right? And not only that, the Dark God sister is still under the impression that you know, her brother loves him, her, and, and like, she's gonna fucking birth a child, and the child's gonna be the brother, and then we were in her womb, and things are getting very weird. I don't fucking know. Euphemia, Theodicia, the lolly, the vampire, you know, timeline, that's that's all met. And I just, I'm just so fucking mad that this, this guy just keeps fucking surviving, dude. I'm just fucking so mad that this guy just keeps fucking surviving. He gets the most fucking screen time of every fucking side character. It pisses me off, dude. But at the very least, today's episode, there's a lot of fun classes man there's a lot more like fake hidden classes that's like oh i used to fucking talk to cat gods and have these powers and you know it's like i oh i, I used to like being a counter it's like I, oh i'm actually a fucking necromancer right and the idols you know the idol fucking suicide bomber die hard fans that shit was actually pretty funny even if I can't keep up with the plot, it is a very entertaining show. And I'm sure next episode, like, it's gonna be fine. We can just simply, you know, kill this nuke. And then we can kill the Dark God Sisters woman. 
everything's gonna be fine. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.